Okay, guys, here's the update for tonight. I've been wiring up my leads. I got these done, running it straight down the center. The one for this one is going to come straight down the center just like that. I got this one in. All the leads in for this BMS, so it's just about ready. Let me get up so you can get a full view. But this is it. This is it. So that one is done all the way up to there. So I need to get started on this battery here. Finish all of that all the way down. The BMS is going to go in right here where that slot is right there. Gonna have two BMSs in there, one for that one and one for this one here. And um, yeah, that's the far as I done got so far. I just wanted to give y'all an update. Here's the here's the lead for the BMS. There it is. This plugs in to the BMS, and I'm going to put heat shrink on the top of this and heat shrink all of this to keep it keep all of these wires from being all over the place. And then I'm gonna get the wire loom and put the, the wire loom on these all the way down to the end. So it should look pretty nice when I get done with it. But other than that guys, that's as far as I got. But I do have something I wanna run across. Y'all see what you think. Let me get it, hold on just a second. Alright guys, this is what I got here. I got this baby here out of the Nissan Leaf battery bank. This connects into the BMS to turn the power coming in from the charge. When you plug your charger in the front of the car, it feeds into here, goes through these actuators, and then it goes out to the battery. So basically, what it does is when you put 12 volts to these two wires here, it brings these two points together right here, which let the power flow through. This is one separate one. This one is the other separate one. This, this one here runs this side. This one here runs this side. I want to put one of my battery banks on this side, one on the other, and I'm going to hook, come off of my batteries into here and out of here to my inverters. So basically, I'm going to get a 48-volt uh, reducer to reduce down to 12 volts, and I want to tie that into here, but I want to use my BMSs right here. The BMS, the blue side goes to the battery this side here is supposed to go to your load, wherever your load is. But instead of running this to the load, because see, this thing says 400 amps. Let me get it closer. 400 amps, but it's not near 400 amps. Because I know uh, on the charging on here, it says not to go over 50 amps when you're charging. So, I my 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 charge my um, solar panels on a good day I might see them about 62 amps. So I knew that that was too much because it said not to go over 50. So I wanted to split it up so I can add more panels and I can get up to 100. But this one will take 100. I mean 50, and then the other one will take a 50. I might keep it about maybe 90. Uh, 45 on, on each one, 45 in this one, 45 in that one. But if I do it this way, I won't have to worry about that because the charging won't be going through this. But this still will protect your battery in case you have a, a cell get out of balance or you have a um, some kind of short circuit with the battery. But what I wanted to do was that 48 volt to 12 volt reducer I was going to take the positive and hook it onto here, 
hook the ne the negative up to right here, and then hook this up to right there, and that way I won't have no charging going through here, and I won't have none of none of my power being exported out going through here. It'll all be going through here. But this will still control it in case something goes wrong. It'll shut the system down and it can do each individual one. Say like if one battery bank get out of whack and the BMS shut it down, it's only going to shut this one down and this one to keep going so I can continue to run off my other one. And uh, I won't have no power loss. So my question to y'all is, anybody that has any experience with these actuators or solenoids or whatever you want to call them, these right here, can these things run full time? I know on a car, car can charge up to 18 hours depending on how far you run it down. And if you're using 120 volts or 240 volts, it could take up to 18 hours when you're using like the 120 volt. Could take more than that with a 120 volt charger. But I know these things stay on for at least 24 hours sometime, maybe maybe 20 hours. Can these stay on full time when this BMS is running properly? It will actually keep this on full time. I wonder if that will be a problem. Anybody that know that question, leave it in the comment section at the bottom. And uh, yeah, this is tonight's update. So I'm going to try to get the next battery done tomorrow night. And then I'll be wiring the BMSs. And by then, hopefully somebody can answer this question on these right here. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. Guys, one more thing I forgot to say. <clears throat> Right now, I'm uh, having problems with YouTube. I don't know what's going on. My uploads have been messing up. My um, Everything has just been gone. I, I haven't been getting you guys messages. Y'all leave a message. And the only way that I know that y'all have left the messages is for me to physically go in and look. I'm not receiving any messages or receiving any emails letting me know that y'all had left messages so I'm not trying to avoid you or not wanting to answer your question sometimes I'm just not getting it so if you can go to the most recent video and leave it there because them is the ones that I kind of uh, monitor pretty much periodically during the day so I will know that y'all have left me something when you go to them older videos and you leave something on them, I hardly ever go back unless I get a message that 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 you have, have left a message there. And then I'll go back and I'll look. And then when I'm on there for somebody else, I see, man, two or three weeks ago or four months ago, somebody left a message and I never was received. So it's not that I'm trying to avoid y'all. I'm just not getting the messages. So please... Don't take it personal if I do not do not answer your question or I do not respond back to you as quick as you think I should. I'm doing it as quick as I can and I get quite a few messages that I don't even know that the people had left. So that's all I wanted to say. So please, if you can, go to the newest video, leave your messages there. So I will most likely get them quicker and can respond back to y'all. Okay, have a good night.